Hello everyone and welcome to Jackie Educational Channel. So today we are going to start the unit wise study of the net environmental science paper. So there are a total 10 units in this paper and the first unit we are going to start today that is fundamentals of environmental science. So the first unit the first lesson is introduction of environmental science and get ready with your pen and paper because you should note down all the important notes which we are going to discuss in this video. So without wasting much time let's get started. So the first thing is environment. So what is environment? The environment is anything which is surrounding us is called as environment. That is the surrounding of an organism which includes both living and non-living components. And what is environmental science? The scientific study, the science behind the environment is known as the environmental science. So today we are going to discuss some of the basics of environmental science that is the introductory part and we know this environmental science topic is very burning and this is very very important because it is having many problematic and issue attention is needed. So we need to focus and give our full attention towards our environment for our better future and future generation. So we'll start with the stages of issue attention cycle. So this is one of the important topic. And this was given by the Anthony Downs. So he proposed this issue attention cycle in which there are five stages. So first stage is called as the pre-problematic stage. So what is this pre-problematic stage? It is characterized by no public attention. So here public attention zero hota hai towards any environmental problems. But except a few experts and interested group. So few expert or interested group ka hi attention hota hai any environmental problem ke baare mein. So in the first stage there is no public attention towards environmental problem but the experts and interested group are having certain concern. Next coming up to the second stage. So the second stage is called the stage of alarm discovery and euphoric enthusiasm. So bahut enthusiasm milta hai when the issue of environmental problem catches the public attention. So there is an alarming public interest and enthusiastic group they are readily responding to solve the problem of environment without caring for the cost of investment. So they are ready to invest any amount and any resources to save the environment according to the environmental problem. Next thing is step number three that is stage three in this issue attention cycle is realizing costs of significant progress. So what is this stage? It is marked by realization of the cost of significant progress. So now the public is aware of the cost of investment and it is realizing that the technological development may not always be the best solution to the environment problem. For example, we will global warming. Can we stop the machine of global warming? Ko stop kar sakta hai? Not at all. So it is sole purpose of the human beings to stop this global warming because of changing their behavior towards the environment. So the fourth stage is gradual decline of public interest. So here what happens is the public is now realizing that there is a much higher cost of solution required for the environmental problems. So that's why the public is now not giving that much interest what it was giving in the second stage. So next is the post problem stage. So what happens in the third stage they realize that is the cost of significant progress. In fourth stage gradual decline in scene and in fifth stage there is very very less interest of the public so that it is marked by the lessening of public interest for the issue of environmental concern but the public interest in environmental problems erupts in spasmodic manner. So what is this eruption of spasmodic manner? Uska matlab ye hai ki occasionally irregularly the public is coming forward to cope up and to deal with the environmental problem but the interest is very very lessened. So for example sometime you will go and plant the tree but next time you will not be concerned about the trees and the environment. So that is the last stage of this cycle but as it is a cycle it will continue and again it will reach the first stage that is pre-problem stage where there is zero public attention and some groups that are interested and experts will be interested for the environment solution. Then it will be followed by second stage that is alarm discovery and the public will be very much interested with enthusiasm. Then they will realize the cost of significant progress and realize that the technological development will not be sufficient for the solution. Then there will be gradual decline and finally there will be marked by lessening of public interest and spasmodic eruption that is occasional or irregular participation. So these are the five stages you should note it down. The next thing which we are going to study today will be environmental awareness. 
सो नाउ डेज ऑलमोस्ट ईच एंड एवरी सिटीजन ऑफ आर कंट्री एज वेल एज द सिटीजन प्रेजेंट ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड इज कंसर्न अबाउट द एनवायरमेंट इन समर अदर वे बट द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग एज पर द नेट एनवायरमेंटल साइंस एग्जाम और एनी अदर कम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम इज कंसर्न इज द ई ई ए टी स्कीम सो वट इज दिस ई ई ए टी स्कीम आई टेल यू दैट इट इज एनवायरमेंट एजुकेशन अवेयरनेस एंड ट्रेनिंग स्कीम सो दिस वॉज द सेंट्रल स्कीम लॉन्च बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ड्यूरिंग द सिक्सटीन फाइव ईयर प्लान इन द ईयर नाइनटीन हंड्रेड एंड एटी थ्री एंड नाइनटीन एटी फोर विथ सेवरल ऑब्जेक्टिव सो द ऑब्जेक्टिव आर इम्पॉर्टेंट एज पर द एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू वी विल रीड वन बाय वन द फर्स्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू प्रमोट एनवायरमेंट एजुकेशन थ्रू एग्जिस्टिंग एजुकेशनल रिसर्च एंड साइंटिफिक इंस्टीट्यूशन एनी एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन मस्ट प्रमोट एनवायरमेंट एजुकेशन सो ये है हमारा फर्स्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव दैट इज टू प्रमोट एनवायरमेंट एजुकेशन थ्रू एग्जिस्टिंग एजुकेशनल रिसर्च एंड साइंटिफिक इंस्टीट्यूशन नेक्स्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव को आ जाते हैं नेक्स्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू एंश्योर ट्रेनिंग एंड मैन पावर डेवलपमेंट फॉर द एनवायरमेंट एजुकेशन अवेयरनेस एंड ट्रेनिंग सो वट इज दिस वन दिस इज मैन पावर डेवलपमेंट एंड ट्रेनिंग दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू इम्प्रूव एंड वी हैव टू इंक्रीज द मैन पावर एज वेल एज द ट्रेनिंग टू ऑल द मैन पावर विच आर टीचर्स एंड द रिसर्च साइंटिस्ट फॉर द एनवायरमेंट एजुकेशन फॉर स्प्रेडिंग देयर अवेयरनेस एंड ट्रेनिंग टू अदर सिटीजन्स ऑफ द कंट्री नेक्स्ट इज टू फैसिलिटेट डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एजुकेशन ट्रेनिंग मटेरियल्स एंड एड्स इन द फॉर्मल एजुकेशन सेक्टर सो फॉर्मल एजुकेशन सेक्टर दैट मीन्स स्कूल्स एंड कॉलेजेस वी हैव टू डेवलप द एजुकेशनल ट्रेनिंग मटेरियल्स दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू इम्प्रूव द टीचिंग एड्स सो वी हैव टू इंक्लूड द प्रोजेक्टर वी हैव टू इंक्लूड द प्रेजेंटेशन एंड डिफरेंट एजुकेशनल मटेरियल्स इन द फॉर्मल एजुकेशन सेक्टर टू क्रिएट एनवायरमेंटल अवेयरनेस टू मेक चैप्टर्स इंटरेस्टिंग नेक्स्ट थिंग इज टू मोबिलाइज पीपल्स पार्टिसिपेशन फॉर प्रिजर्वेशन एंड कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनवायरमेंट सो हियर इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू इन्वॉल्व ऑल द पीपल नॉट ओनली स्टूडेंट्स सच एज इको क्लब्स इज द वेरी ब्यूटिफुल एग्जाम्पल फॉर द पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ पीपल एंड स्टूडेंट्स ऑल्सो दे विल एन्जॉय विद दिस पार्टिसिपेशन एंड इवेंचुअली इट विल लीड टू प्रिजर्वेशन एंड कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनवायरमेंट नेक्स्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द ई ई ए टी स्कीम वॉज टू प्रमोट एनवायरमेंटल अवेयरनेस एमंग ऑल सेक्शंस ऑफ द सोसाइटी सो नॉट ओनली स्टूडेंट स्टडिंग इन द इंस्टीट्यूट और रिसर्च एंड साइंटिफिक इंस्टीट्यूशन बट ईच एंड एवरी सोसाइटी द पार्ट शुड बी प्लेड बाई एवरी सिटीजन टू प्रमोट एनवायरमेंटल अवेयरनेस एंड टीच अबाउट एनवायरमेंटल साइंस सो बेसिकली दिस पॉइंट इज सजेस्टिंग दैट नॉट ओनली इन अर्बन एरियाज बट इन रूरल एरियाज ऑल्सो वी शुड प्रमोट दिस एनवायरमेंट अवेयरनेस स्कीम so these are the five important objectives of the eeat scheme so you should note it down it is also very very important now we have completed the issue attention cycle we have spread the awareness of environmental science now we will know what is the classification of environment so how environment is divided so environment ko divide kiya gaya hai do basis mein one is physical environment the other component is biological environment so biological environment mostly made up of biotic that is living organism and physical environment constitute abiotic or non living components so what are the physical environment is also subdivided into three important categories based on the physical characteristic and state so how physical characteristic that means it is divided into land air and water so you should mark here that here it is mentioned physical so physical state ka matlab kya hota hai usually physical state means solid liquid or gas so how these three things signify this because land means solid part air means the gases part and liquid denotes the water so these three constitute the physical environment based on the physical state next is biological environment divided into three parts again animals plants and human beings so here in biological environment bios means life you all will be knowing so bios means life so living organisms that are animals that are called as fauna plants that are flora and human beings they constitute the biotic environment so these two things made the complete thing that is called as environment so here we have discussed the components of the environment that are abiotic and biotic living and non living and now we will discuss about the factors controlling these living and non living systems so what are the factors so many different varieties of classification have been proposed but the simplest and easiest one is this one that is direct factors and indirect factors so these two factors play major role in forming the environment of any part of the world so direct factors include climatic or aerial factors as well as the biotic factors 
Next comes the indirect factors which include edaphic factors and physiographic or topographic factors. So we will know one by one. So direct factors under climatic and aerial factors, we will have three things that are important that is light, temperature and precipitation. So these are the direct factors that are soil nutrients, soil water, all these things will come under climatic and aerial factors that is light, air, temperature, soil nutrients, soil water and etc. Next we will go for the biotic factors. So biotic factors will comprise of living things as we have discussed, plants, animals, algae, microorganisms, all these will constitute biotic factors. So these are direct factors. Next we will go and see about the indirect factors. So indirect factors under edaphic factors. Edaphic factors means this deal with the formation of soil so soil science or soil study will be known as the edaphic factor it will suggest that and its physical and chemical properties whose the soils physical and chemical properties next coming up to the physiographic or topographic factors so it includes altitude direction of the mountain chains and valleys and etc so these are the physiographic or topographic factors of any particular environment so you should note it down direct and indirect factors are the major factors controlling the environment of any part of the world so let's wrap up quickly what are the things which we learned today so first we learned about the stages of issue attention cycle there are five stages next we went to eeat scheme that was launched in 1983 and 1984 which was environment education awareness and training scheme and next we went to the classification of environment environmental factors controlling the environment of any region and these were some of the introductory part for the environmental science so this will continue this series if you like this don't forget to like the video share it with your friends and stay tuned for further updates and yes if you haven't subscribed the channel till now do subscribe and hit the notification icon so that when i'll be uploading any new video you will get the notification as soon as i upload so see you guys in our next video